Hi, I'm Akanksha Naval Shete and joining us today on Filmfare Middle East Insta Live is Reem Sheikh. Uh, she's barely 16 years old but she's a veteran when it comes to her performances and her screen experience. Uh, she started, she made her first debut, she made a debut at a tender age of 6 and she's been working uh, ever since. Uh, well, to name her few shows, uh, she's done uh, Na Ana Is De Slado and uh, a sweet life of karan kabir na bole tum na maine kuch kaha ye rishta kya kehlata hai devon ke dev diya aur baati hum chakravarti ashok so you get the idea so basically you name any hit show and chances are that reem has been a part of that but currently she's reigning our hearts uh, with a show tujhse hai rabta on z and uh, also she's done a music video recently and She's also done her Bollywood films, yes. She has starred in uh, uh, Gul Makai, which is not exactly a Bollywood film, but uh, yes, she has uh, done that too, where she played, it's a biopic on the life of uh, Malala Yousafzai, so the Nobel Prize winner, yes. So uh, yes, without any further ado, let's see if she's ready to join us. You know, we could go on and on with the kind of work that she has done, uh, not yet. And uh, in the meantime, we all know the kind of, uh, uh, sh the kind of, you know, uh, how demanding shows can be. But she has been doing it beautifully. So, you know, these are some of the things uh, we want to ask her about. But uh, do keep your questions coming in. Rabta fan, she's my favorite youngest TV actress. Yes, us too, in fact. Okay, uh, here she is. She's pinged us a hello. Is, uh, welcome home. Hi. 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 How are you? Hi. Welcome to Central Middle East Insta Live. Thank you. I'm good. How have you been? All, all well, all well. Uh, I must tell that you are probably the youngest uh, celeb on our Insta Live. I'm glad to be. <laughs> <laughs> so cute yeah so you know like uh, uh, ever since we've announced again you know so much so many of your fans have been reaching out to us with their questions which we will come to much later but you want to just wave out to them before we start well it's just uh, their love that you know uh, i am live and uh, you guys want to go live with me because of course you guys know that there are many people who would want uh, me to come live so it's just because of them and it's their love that's uh, you know always so motivating and it just keeps me alive basically lovely so you know Reem you have been you know like I was telling them you're just 16 but you know you're a veteran when it comes to your craft you know you made your debut in 2010 yes. and uh, you've been part of so many hit shows yeah, I was like reading out I was like mm -hmm. I won't even remember the name. Yeah. <laughs> yes. uh, so, and uh, uh, now, you know, like you've been a child actor in all, most all of them. And now, you know, Tutsi Rapta is doing so wonderfully well. Yeah, yeah. We'll compete two years on air. Yeah, it, it would. Yeah, I've, we would have competed it, around 500 episodes if, you know, the shooting wouldn't stop. Because not for the lockdown. Down. Yeah. Yes. So you tell us, you know, how has it been for you from being a child actor to being, you know, one of the most <laughs> It's it's been a journey, yeah. You know, it's 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 a journey that I, you know, I wish to write a book about someday because I've I've seen so many ups and downs. I've I've met different kinds of people. I have interacted with so many uh, different kinds of people. Many have been, you know, very supportive. I still remember my first audition. And uh, it, it's it's been a journey. I remember I was terrible when I gave my first audition. It was for some hair oil, and I still have the recording. And trust me, it's it's, it's just very embarrassing <laughs> to post that anywhere. So I haven't done that. And um, you know, it started with uh, Devi, my first show where I was playing a Devi. So like you know, in the beginning itself, it was like you know, very hectic. Because I remember I had to change into that whole Devi attire and then, you know, it was Gaon Ka show. So, uh, I used to have long hair. So, I was wearing a wig. Pen thi thi. Like, you know, can you imagine a six-year-old wearing a long hair and roaming around? Yeah. So, you know, for me, I think because I started 
by the grace of god i started off with something that was so challenging that right now yeah. if you give me any challenges you know i enjoy them had i started with something very light or you know something like a normal girl like a normal story then i yeah. think i would face difficulties in the coming years ahead but because i started with something that was so challenging that was you know that had a lot of that that used to put a lot of pressure on me it's i think mm. that's one of the only reasons that i am so comfortable um to do any difficult scene or to do any difficult role right now because i started off with something right. so difficult right right but you know how has it been balancing you know because i'm sure uh, being a child actor you know kept you away from school for long periods of time and you know yes. uh, so you kind know, of ever feel that you missed out on a lot of the that kind of fun you know like uh, uh i i'll be honest i do i do feel that way sometimes that you know okay i've missed out on school i've missed out on you know school friends or something but then at the same time i have uh, you know maybe i can speak about being a child actress that itself is another victory for me absolutely you know, I, such an yeah, that is that is another victory. like but but yeah i do get really uh, emotional sometimes when i see when i hear my friends talking about school and bunking school or like you know how to how to uh, copy a test or something i don't know all that <laughs> but you know then at the same time i know that ke jab line bhul jao to phir matlab kaise yaad rakhni hoti hai i i i know all those things which probably you right. know if you talk to a very old uh, experienced actor unko ye sab pata hoga but then at the same time at the age of 17 i am getting to <laughs> share the kind of experience a 30 year old would share so that it itself is another victory for me right 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 so there are a lot of pros and cons to being a child actor you know yes so there are pros uh, you know obviously you're getting so much love from I your fans one which... thing that you know it, it it somewhere bothers me is that because uh in since childhood i had done a show then you know i was working people knew that you know she works in television i think it's because of that one reason that um everybody wanted to become my friend and i was always the kind of person that used to be like nahi mujhe itne dost nahi chahiye mujhe sirf ek wo ek wo dost chahiye itne dosto se dosti nahi karni mujhe but then there were just too many people out there who wanted me to be their friend and you know of course it was just that one thing uh that one reason that they wanted to be friends with me and it somehow used to affect me at that age also you know i yeah. I, i was never too proud about it i was always yeah. that ki sad se matlab you know log sirf mere kaam ki wajah se log sirf mere instagram followers ki wajah se mujhse dosti karna chahte hain so that has been one thing which has always affected me that ki log na sirf mere instagram aur mere social media ki wajah se mujhse dosti karna chahte hain you know that has been something that has affected me but then i'm glad that there are a few people in my life that i know ke nahi yaar ye sacche wale so yeah right. you just need to know the balance and then you need to uh, have the power to see what's black and what's white right right in fact that is what i was saying like you know just asking you has that changed you know have you found that close net yes, group of yes yes it did uh, you know eventually in the uh, beginning i used to be like nahi nahi ye bhi waisa hi ye bhi waisa hi but then you know if you actually uh, you know to connect with another soul you need to have a soul yourself you know so uh, you need to open up so uh, you know when i started having a soul connection with people that's when i realized that okay these are the true people who do not care about you know whether my show is on air or off air whether i'm working or not whether i have uh, any social media following or something so yeah it's always about the soul that connects and it's not about you know the gender or the age also in fact i would say because if you see i have many people who are not my age and then and they are still so close to me that i could do anything for them in the world like if i talk about gulfam right now she is in her 40s uh, mm -hmm. but you know she is like my best friend she knows everything she knows the times that i've sneaked out she knows the time that you know i have done something that you know probably uh, someone my age should know but she is someone who's been 
a friend to me throughout so she knows everything and she's like in her 40s so you know it's friendship is not about gender age or anything it's just about the soul that you connect to lovely lovely but you know in the industry you know when you stepped in uh, from such a tender age like i said uh, all through you know what has been like a blanket keeping you from you know there are all kinds of people out there uh, yeah, yeah. trollers you know who are like you know kind of ready to uh, body shame they're talking about so many like with the positives come a lot of So yeah, of you? course, it it always does. I have uh, seen body shaming, like you know, I've I've done that because uh, I am a chubby kid. I I was a really chubby kid, but now I think I'm a little better. <laughs> yeah, and and that that itself has another journey. Me losing weight from fifty seven to coming down to fifty, and that that was a different journey for me. I I've spoken about it, and I'd love to talk about it today as well. But uh, you know. Uh, I've seen a lot of trollers because uh, there's an intercast family in my marriage. Like you know, my mother, her surname is Sharma, whereas I am Reem Sheikh. So you know, I have seen every kind of trolling, right from religion, right from uh, body shaming, to you know, hanging out with guys or people not my age. I've been trolled for that as well. So I've seen every kind of trolling, but you know, it somewhere does not matter to me because. um there are people who have a different kind of uh, mentality and you know their environment has been such no one is born mm. with a mind that you know she is a muslim why is she wearing jeans and roaming around it's just the society that you know we all are living in and which somewhere makes you like that so i never take them to heart because i know that ke kabhi na kabhi to khud samajh hi jayenge right See, so, you know, you have overcome all of this so beautifully. Where does your strength come from? Like, who do you derive your strength, the kind of maturity from? Uh, honestly, uh, I think my parents never really treated me as a kid. You know, uh, they never treated me as a kid. It was never like you know, okay, uh, uh, I, I, I was never treated like a kid when I was uh, you know around five or six or ten. So, uh, the things were always kept very clearly in front of me that ki you know uh, abhi kaam nahi hai to fir aisa nahi batate the ki lekin are beta aisa nahi hai you enjoy your life that no you gave an audition but you did not get selected you know so everything was out there for me no one filtered anything for me ever like mujhe jo ho raha tha ghar mein ghar ki jo bhi situation thi ghar ki jo bhi problems thi ya fir you know jo bhi hota tha मुझसे कभी कुछ फिल्टर करके नहीं बताया जाता था कभी कुछ छुपाया नहीं जाता था विथ समवेयर आई थिंक यू नो एट अ वेरी अर्ली एज आई है अंडरस्टैंडिंग अबाउट एवरी थिंग दैट्स हैपनिंग लाइक यू नो मी नॉट गोइंग टू स्कूल मी नॉट सींग दी आउटसाइड वर्ल्ड स्टिल आई हैव द काइंड ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट प्रोबेबली ट्वेंटी फाइव ईयर ओल्ड वुड हैव इज बिकॉज uh nothing was ever filtered in front of me everything was out there the truth was out there like i've been very honest about the fact that after ashoka the two years that i did not do anything was not a a, a break that i had taken willingly it was because my sach mein main jo bhi kaam karne jati thi wo kaam mere liye work out nahi kar raha tha i've been very honest about this fact that ki ha maine willingly break nahi liya tha main jo bhi kaam karti thi jo bhi audition deti thi wo work out ho hi nahi rahe the you know so right. it's always Faith. this honesty that i have had around me that has made me so mature at such a young age and i'm glad to be this way because you know right. i i am prepared mentally prepared for everything kind of right 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 exactly i am prepared for something not working out i am prepared like you know for uh, you know ki ye nahi hua to kya karna hai मैं सिर्फ यू नो सीधा नहीं देख रही हूँ आई नो हाउ टू लुक इन डिफरेंट डायरेक्शन ऐसा नहीं हुआ तो ऐसा होगा वैसा नहीं हुआ तो वैसा होगा सो यू नो बिकॉज ऑफ दर्टन लेवल ऑफ मेचोरिटी दैट आई हैव विद सम पीपल लेट मी टेल यू इन दिस ऑल्सो सम पीपल फाइंड इट नॉट कूल दैट कम ऑन यूर स्टिल इन योर टीम्स यू शुड नॉट बिहेव दिस वे बट डूड आई विल बिहेव दिस वे समे समे गर्डन ऑफ यू नो के वॉट इफ थिंग्स डोंट वर्क आउट and i am very very happy and i thank my parents for raising me this way that i am i have a certain level level of maturity that none of the kids my age would have probably right right is that a reason why you know you could portray someone like a kalyani so convincingly 
on screen probably. you know where it needs that maturity of being a mother and a wife you know a wife and yeah, a mother rather probably probably that could be one of the reasons that you know okay i i have a certain level of maturity and maybe because of that you know my mind allows me to get into a character which is not my age or probably a few years older than my age and older let me tell you kalyani is the youngest character which i am playing right now because you know in those two years while i i was not doing anything i have given auditions for age group jo 22 23 ki bhi hoti thi Oh okay and you know people would consider me because ha unko pata tha ki ha she is mature enough because you know kahin na kahin the maturity that i have it reflects for me shakal pe dikh jati hai like agar main kisi ko meri age na batau then i can genuinely fool anybody right now that okay i am dude i am 22 i am 23 yeah but but you know you're so cute yeah that gives away kahin na kahin pe yeah i am basically balancing the maturity and uh, there are times that i act really stupid if you see my instagram stories right now uh, i i i was talking to my uh, sister on video call and you know i was literally singing that song hum pe kisne hara rang dala and i was doing all the drama in the world that <laughs> would probably take away any acting role from me and if there are casting director would just watch this video you would just think that is for acting ke naam pe kuch nahi aata So yeah, I know how to balance the maturity and also the stupidity that a seventeen-year-old would have. You know, it's just all about balance. You know, whenever someone asks me that what is the most important thing, I think the mind to know how to balance everything. Lovely, lovely. So, do you a kind of select your own scripts, or do you like you know uh, get help from your parents, or you know there's a system around um, you helping you with that? Uh. Honestly, right now, you know, right now, and even before, I was in the uh, zone that yeah, first I want to make a mark. I want to know. I want to have a name, and then probably that after I have a name, after like you no know, people know me, I would be picky. But you know, by the grace of God, I was always blessed with a good script. Like Kalyani yeah. is someone that you know, कभी कभी मैं पढ़ती हूँ, I'm like, क्या है ये लड़की? कैसे मतलब कैसे इसका दिमाग कैसे चलता है इतना बिकॉज़ शी इज शी इज स्टूपिड शी इज क्यूट बट शी इज वेरी स्मार्ट एंड आई जस्ट डोंट अंडरस्टैंड दैट हाउ कल्याणी डज इट हैट्स ऑफ टू सोनाली मैम एंड कमोलिका माय राइटर्स टू यू नो हैव द बैलेंस ऑफ कल्याणी बीइंग स्टूपिड बट वेरी स्मार्ट एट द सेम टाइम राइट सो टेल अस समथिंग अबाउट योर केमिस्ट्री विद योर कोस्टार सेवान अजीम यू नो It's people a people it's a chemistry that people talk about. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Tell us, you know, with the uh, him. In the beginning, know? honestly, um, I've said this many times that when uh, our first artist meeting was, you know, so mm-hmm. I was sitting there. He came. He walked into the room, and he was dressed very sophisticatedly, like you know, proper white shirt, ironed white shirt with proper jeans. And uh, he came and he introduced himself. That hi, I'm Saban Azim. So now me as a that kya re, bhot pada likha hoga. Like bhot pada likha hoga. Now me as a Saban Azim, and you know he speaks also like that because he is a writer actually. So when he introduced himself, and the first question he asked everyone was that kya? Acha yahan pe Marathi kis kis ko aati hai? uh so for 20 25 minutes i was sure that he is the writer of our show like mujhe pata hi nahi tha ki he is actually he is going to be my husband to be in the show i was thinking that he is the writer because main sabse last select hui hu tujhse rabta mein kyunki main teen audition mein pehle reject ho chuki hu koi aur select ho chuki hai kisi aur ka mock shoot ho chuka hai उसके साथ मॉक शूट भी किया है लास्ट मोमेंट में थिंग्स कुड नॉट डिट वर्क आउट एंड दे कॉल भी अगेन फॉर द फोर्थ ऑडिशन फोर्थ ऑफ दिन एंड देन आई यू नो गॉट द रोल और मैं चार बार पहले रिजेक्ट इसलिए हुई थी बिकॉज आई वॉज चबी सीरियस ऑब्वियसली यू नो वॉट आई एम राइट नाउ आई वुड बी लुकिंग ट्वेंटी परसेंट एक्स्ट्रा ऑन द स्क्रीन because somewhere screen makes you look a little plump than what you are in real life so imagine me being a, a 55 kg ka kid what i would be looking on screen 
so yeah <laughs> and to phir mujhe phir baad mein pata chala acha he is going to be my hero i was like oh okay to uh somewhere our personalities are same but mai aise hu that ki ha i can i can be really funny i can be really talkative or uh, pehle mujhe laga tha that because you know we have a little age gap so somewhere mere usse nahi banegi because mera shagun ke sath mock shoot ho chuka tha aur main shagun ko jaanti hu to mujhe laga tha ki ha shagun is like you know just do teen saal bada mujhse and we were we had already become yeah. great friends to jab sehban set pe aate bhi the na to main unse itna baat kar nahi pati thi samajh bhi nahi aata tha kya baat karu so then you know eventually when our marriage track came you know mm-hmm. we became so thick that now we are like you know just looking for each other to talk talk about anything yeah. talk, we talk about anything we talk about the cats roaming around on the sets he would talk about the birds flying up in the air he he knows me inside out he knows everything like you know i think he he is the person that who meri shakal dekh ke bata sakta hai that ke mujhe kya hua hai whether i'm sad i'm emotional i'm angry or you know meri mera kisi se jhagda hoga main batana bhi na chahu na to bhi like you know i would look at him and i would get the reaction that okay come on team tell me and i right. just start and i'll continuously talk for one hour so, so he is one like, you know, my you can call him my escape that whenever i need to you know went out or you know just he like can someone listen to me right now he's that person for me then listen to me right now right so basically he is very quietly listen to me yeah yeah no that that friend circle that you were talking about that you know you wish you initially had you know yeah. who were being friends so he's made it to that level yeah then. he has certainly and uh, yeah i'm like we get bored when we when one of us are not on sets like we really get bored <laughs> lovely but what is your uh, status otherwise you single are you dating do you no, be- i think uh, i will remain single because dating uh, you know i i was actually i really want to talk about this that you know today's generation see please ignore the fact that i talk about today's generation even though i belong from this generation <laughs> <laughs> but the level or a problem with this generation you know this uh, era people have made such a big deal out of dating and mm-hmm. people have made everything so negative about relationships and dating and love life that you know koi agar insaan mujhse genuinely bhi flirt karta hai na aajkal to mujhe yahi lagta hai that no no he's a big time player this is just a way of being a good flirt because today's world has made it so negative Right, all right. guys are players. All guys are, you know, not good to talk to, and you know, all guys are big, big flirts. That right now, even if a guy would genuinely be flirting with me, I will be like, you know, he's a big time flirt. I'm sure he's talking to five more girls right now. Or वो बेचारा शायद कर भी नहीं रहा होगा. But it's huh? just the people around that have made it. कि नहीं सारे लड़के ऐसे होते हैं. Right. But what are the chances of finding you on Tinder someday? No, I I I am against it. Like I I don't know. I I somewhere I don't probably believe in online dating so easily, unless and until like, yeah, it's my time. It's my age to get married, and I still haven't found the one. Okay, and uh, what is the probability of looking for qualities that uh, you know that your uh, screen husband has, Malhar? the kind of qualities that i would want in a guy in a real in real life in real uh, life you know uh, see malhar rane ko bahut zyada gussa aata hai that is something that i don't mm-hmm. want you know malhar no. ko bahut gussa aata hai and you know he is just very um i think he is not too expressive and you know me personally i like i've heard it from the guys you know like literally you know the guys that flirt with you but then you don't give them bhao but then eventually they become great friends and then some day when you guys are sitting they would tell you ki tu na aise hai tu na jab main tujhse flirt karta tha tu aise baat karti thi so guys have actually told me that you know you're not very expressive so never find a guy who is very quiet or is not expressive because yeah. tum dono bore ho jaoge okay? <laughs> so yeah uh, uh, i had like you know this typical thing that mujhe koi puchta tha kaisa kaisa ladka chahiye i'm like either a personality like shahrukh khan 
लड़कियां बस इन पे मरती है नीनो इज जस्ट द वे दैट ही टॉक्स दैट गर्ल्स फॉल इन लव और अ टोटल डिफरेंट पर्सनालिटी लाइक रणवीर सिंह जिससे सिर्फ लड़कियां नहीं है बल्कि लड़के और पूरी दुनिया प्यार करते हैं ही इज दैट फनी एंड दैट पंप्ड अप एंड दैट एनर्जेटिक सो फॉर मी इट इज लाइक या तो शाहरुख खान पर्सनालिटी या तो रणवीर सिंह पर्सनालिटी बीच में कोई नहीं चाहिए मुझे आर दे योर सेलिब्रिटी क्रशेस टू Uh, my celebrity crush would actually be Ranveer Kapoor. Oh, okay. You know, he just has so, that very innocent look and that cute, innocent look. Yeah, it's Ranveer Kapoor. So you hope to work with him someday? Yeah, I, I really wish. I really wish. <laughs> so, so what? What you know? How is it going on the uh, film front? You know, you did uh, the biopic on uh, Malala Yousafzai. Yes. You know. Yeah. again yeah, a very beautiful role thank you uh honestly um uh i would love to be a part of films because i've it, it's it's been my dream since i was a kid ever since i started working for television uh, i started doing ads you know it's it's my dream to be out there to be doing movies and to travel like many people would laugh about the fact but uh, I I love working extra hours. That's how much I love being on sets. That's how much I love facing the camera. Like, our show ke EP. If my parents didn't want me to work extra hours, they would come and tell me that, "Wait up, please, let your parents convince you." And I would actually call up my dad and be like, "I want to work. I don't have a problem." You know, so that's how much I love being on screen. And uh, that's how much I love facing the camera. So for me, it is my dream to. be doing a bhansali or a zoya akhtar film like you know these two directors are my favorite right right but is there a particular genre that zoya akhtar that... just gets the best out of you you know like i've seen kali boy uh, i i've seen dil dhadakne do she just knows how to get the best out of you right but any particular genre that you would want no, them to I, just, you? i want to do everything i want yeah. to do everything like you know right from some serious biopics to some uh, documentaries uh, to some comedy and then some typical romance with shahrukh khan i hope that wo tab itna buddha na ho jaye ki main kar hi na pa jaye theek hai aap keh rahe ho how sweet of you like but there are some above 50 by the time it's my age to be like a proper dipika padukone type of heroine he would be around But 55 plus, it, it might be a little no, so. but trust me. <laughs> no, but you know, there's always you know, like a, like a movie like Chini Kamar. I know. 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 You know, probably if you want to get married to someone who's a little older, you know, it is a very, very interesting chemistry that you know, that one different generation is there, a little, and one is a little different generation is there. You know, they both have different thoughts, and you know, when two people with different thoughts meet, that can also be fun. You know, that everything, like you know, even a small object can have two opinions, two different kinds of thoughts, and when they meet, and then you, know, then as a result, that yeah, let's go beach ka rasta pakad pe. that can also be fun if you look at it that way very bit you know talking about fun you tell me what is your idea of fun like what do you do when you're not uh, you know on sets and having fun on sets what do you do oh uh, you know i never feel that i'm not facing the cam like whenever we are on set so the whole rapta cast we all sit together matlab master ho gaya to jab dusre shot ki lighting hoti hai we are sitting together like you know saban ka room is like our adda Which has a oh, okay. coffee maker to a fridge, uh, and you know, वो नीचे बैठने वाली arrangement because लोग इतने हैं कि हम इतने beds नहीं रख पाते हैं room में that हमने नीचे बिछा रखा है वो बैठने की जगह. Oh, because you know, we all sit together and we talk. You know, and sometimes we wonder that 12 घंटे shoot करने के बाद भी हम लोग WhatsApp पे बात कर कैसे लेते हैं? करते हैं यार बती बातें. So yeah, you know, being on Rapta set is just fun. It's fun, yeah, like yeah. you know, people actually die to be a part of Rapta. 
because you know when they see us having so much fun from eating subah ka nashta to raat sham ka nashta <laughs> together so yeah rapta cast is like this one crazy cast every right. group sits uh, me being the youngest then shagun after me then there is seban who is in his 30s and then there is purva the who is in her 40s then there is mr milin patak who is in his 50s and then there oh, is sabita yeah. sai who is even senior who is the most senior amongst all of us but we all sit together and we talk there is not a moment where we like ya ye na hamari mentality ka nahi ye baat nahi kar payega ya you know i see they all could have thought that about me because i'm the youngest the youngest but right, me right. not being in the room is the most boring part like they all miss me when i'm not in the room because i am like you know the girl who would sometimes make fun of her own self trust me i'm very good at it <laughs> like main khud pe mazak kaise bana leti hu mujhe bhi nahi samajh mein aata bas main bana leti hu and people just end up laughing a lot <laughs> so when uh, is there any news on you know when you are starting shooting again or uh, rapta i heard that we would be starting soon and hopefully in this month and uh, i just i just pray to allah that it starts soon because it's i feel incomplete yeah. it's like i've i've kept a part of me on set and i'm just feeling incomplete maine z5 pe apne sare purane episodes dekh liye hain i'm missing it so much and every scene that i watch on TV has a back story that ye scene karte karte ye joke tha ye scene karte karte wo joke tha it's, it's just that I'm missing a part of me right what about your kalma series tell us a little bit about that you know oh it's, it's so interesting kalma uh, so uh, when we were shooting our marriage sequence you know mm-hmm. uh, saban and i actually we were like Okay, uh, you know we should have a name. I was like, what name? Mm-hmm. Just a name. So you know we were just thinking that we क्या होगा क्या होगा. We came with uh, Malhari, and then you know we came with so many different different kinds of name. But you know we were something that no, yeah, it has to be something very different. And then uh, mm-hmm. luckily the same day our writer was on the set. Kamalika was on mm-hmm. set, and we asked right. her that यार आपने तो character लिखा है पूरा पूरा एक नाम सजेस्ट करो हम दोनों को जोड़ के शी इज लाइक कलमा कैसा रहेगा एंड यू वर लाइक डन यू वर लाइक डन बिकॉज़ यू नो इट इज एन इट इज अ वर्ड दैट इज वेरी प्योर इट इज अ वर्ड दैट इज वेरी पॉजिटिव यू नो एंड आई ऑलवेज बिलीव इन यू नो पॉजिटिव थिंग्स अराउंड मी बिकॉज़ इट समवेयर रिफ्लेक्ट्स ऑन योर पर्सनालिटी इट रिफ्लेक्ट्स ऑन योर फेस इफ यू आर पॉजिटिव एंड इफ यू आर अराउंड पॉजिटिव पीपल सो आई थिंक नथिंग कुड हैव बीन बेटर देन द वर्ड कलमा So that's how. So yeah, for every Karma fan, you should thank Malika for coming up with this name. And then um, our first romantic scene was very awkward. Of course, it was very awkward because you know we were new, we were not that great friends, we were not that close, and um, it was very awkward. I remember it was in the kitchen, and uh, but after the scene was done and we were watching it on the monitor. We were. We just looked at each each other and we were like, "Kalma, can be really exciting, you know?" Because you know, yeah. I was just talking about two different personalities interacting with each other. Yeah. Malhar is from another generation. Kalyani is from another generation. Yeah. And when they both interact, it's the best combination that I have seen. Like you know, Sevan yeah. and I, we were talking. and uh, you know now that we are not playing our characters so we talk as sevan and reen so i was like you know what now that i'm watching our videos and our episodes and our behind the scene pictures and videos as an audience i am right. in love with these two i'm like right, right. look so cute on screen yes you do <laughs> and our scenes are something that uh, I think we actually interact with eyes because uh, our scenes. अगर एक पेज का सीन होता है, हम दोनों का सिर्फ हम उसमें इतना ऐड अप कर लेते हैं, हम उसमें इतनी मस्ती कर लेते हैं that that one page goes on to be around two to three pages. We add so much and it's never decided. <laughs> It is बस मास्टर करते वक्त like you know line खत्म हो गई तो उन्होंने कुछ तो बोल दिया और उसपे मैंने भी react कर दिया. and then he would react on my dialogue and then i would react on his dialogue you know so that's what we 
that's a that's a that's wonderful chemistry lovely lovely so so that is also such a uh, like a dream couple for any uh, director to have on set you know yeah 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 and you know so we also had you know a, a lot of fans who like written to us personally you know reaching out so uh, this i am sharp uh, fan uh, core and fire and sans lover kalma family admirer you know a lot of them so they want to know what is the quality which is similar between you and uh, kalyani what is the one thing which um, is very very similar so, uh the sense sensitivity that you know that kalyani and uh, reen me we both are very sensitive mm-hmm. towards uh, any emotion towards any person or anything like you know kalyani whereas you know she has fought with the whole world for her mother right. you know i know that right. somewhere if there is a situation i hope there's never one but if i have to fight i know i will fight the world for my mother and you know kalyani ko gussa bahut jaldi aata hai और मुझे गुस्सा इतना जल्दी नहीं आता है बट जब मुझे गुस्सा आता है वेरी सिमिलर टू कल्याणी लाइक आई हैव बीन टोल्ड ऑन सेट्स दैट स्टॉप रिएक्टिंग लाइक कल्याणी एंड इट्स जस्ट दैट वी बोथ आर रियली सेंसिटिव ह्यूमंस लाइक कल्याणी को गुस्सा भी ज्यादा इसलिए आता है बिकॉज़ वो इतनी सेंसिटिव है कि उसको छोटी-छोटी बातों का गुस्सा आ जाता है बुरा लग जाता है इसलिए उसको गुस्सा आता है सो यू नो वी बोथ आर वेरी सेंसिटिव राइट वर्क seems to be a technical glitch over there can you hey. hear me yes 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 hello back yes yeah and even i can hear you now hmm ah uh, correct so for that can you know what is that one quirk that you know you have which you know people don't know about you know something uh, you know like a secret kind of a quirk um uh i uh, actually i've never been the person to be out there i have uh, not you know like meri har cheez ki update social media pe rehti nahi so many people don't know the kind of person that i really i am uh, mm-hmm. but i think one thing is that um um i i think because of my age and because of my circle i uh, come across to have a personality that you know that uh, she is a big party freak you know she has a lot of friends um, you mm-hmm. know she is that typical teenager of this generation but yeah. i would want people to somewhere understand that i'm not i am this very very old school girl who loves listening to purane gaane like uh, um लगजा गले आपकी नजरों ने समझा आई लिसन टू तेरी महफिल में किस्मत आजमा कर देखेंगे यू नो आई आई थिंक यू नो पीपल हैव दिस रॉन्ग परसेप्शन अबाउट मी लाइक आई एम नॉट सेइंग दैट आई डोंट आई डोंट लाइक लिसनिंग टू आजकल के गाने आई लिसन टू दैट आल्सो आई लिसन टू एवरी पंजाबी सॉन्ग बट यू नो समवेयर दैट डज नॉट यू नो मेक मी a girl who is too much into social media who is too much into like you know being too social about everything that i do i am not like that i i'm happy being a little old school and you know having that old soul in me somewhere because uh, that's just how i like to be you know uh, like somewhere my parents had this issue that ki you know shayad se ye umar se zyada jaldi badi ho gayi hai ya to kuch to hai kuch to galat hai isme why is she not behaving like her age Why does she like yes. you know not want to go to clubs but go to house parties instead? Right, right. And uh, you know why she does not want to be so uh, social on social media, and you know but why does she not want to share what she's doing on social media but write it in a diary instead? So oh, you know yeah. people don't understand that ki just because i belong from this generation does not make me a typical teenager i have the right to have my own personality and which yeah. i would want people to respect me like that 
So yeah, I think uh, the fact that I'm a little old school is something that many people don't know about me. So beautiful. Acha, you know, you were talking about songs. You know, how about uh, humming your favorite song for us? Oh, I think. Um, to say that that will make me a professional singer because you know every second or third day script mein likh ke aate kalyani singing and i <laughs> like oh, okay so one for us also okay okay i'll try i just hope that people just don't leave the live and go no don't think we did kehte hain khuda ne is jahan mein sabhi ke liye किसी ना किसी को है बनाया हर किसी के लिए तेरा मिलना है उस रब का इशारा मानो मुझको बनाया तेरे जैसे ही किसी के लिए कुछ तो है तुझसे कुछ तो है तुझसे राबता कैसे हम जाने हमें क्या पता कुछ तो है तुझसे इससे आगे मैं नहीं कहूंगी सॉरी आई एम नॉट दैट कॉन्फिडेंट व्हेन इट कम्स टू नो नो दैट्स अ ब्यूटीफुल सॉन्ग एंड नो वंडर यू नो विद योर म्यूजिक वीडियो एंड ऑल यू आर सच अ ह्यूज हिट ऑलरेडी थैंक यू Uh, is there is there a message that you would want to kind of give out to especially the youngsters you know uh you know they're so complicated today like we're talking about <laughs> there's just so much that i want to say to everyone out there who's my age or like you know especially for the upcoming generation yeah. uh you know social media i'm i'm not saying you know i'm not against it but you know i would want everyone to understand that social media is something that you don't have to put yourself right there you don't have to be so engrossed you don't have to worry about it so much that it somewhere starts uh, affecting your mental health because it is my fear that you know there is going to be a big crisis in the coming years because of mental health and the main reason i think is going to be social media because i see you know people really caring that ke mere followers nahi pad rahe mere likes nahi pad rahe it's fine yeah It, it is genuinely fine because social media was invented for fun. It was invented for entertainment. It was invented for information. It was invented so that you know you could find people, जो शायद से graduation के बाद कहीं और चले गए हैं या इस वक्त आपके साथ नहीं है. It was never something that you know required all of you. You know, it's very important not to lose yourself in this. It's very important not to lose yourself, you know, when uh, you know you want to be social or public about everything that you do, because you somewhere tend to lose yourself. And I have seen people in front of my eyes, my very close people. I've seen them, you know, being so engrossed in this. So I don't want that any us had to go to this thing, where somewhere, somewhere, it starts affecting your mental health. like you know yeah. i love clicking pictures honestly if you see my instagram i love clicking pictures i have done crazy things for you know having the perfect click but you know i make sure that you know it does not affect me somewhere it does not affect my mental health somewhere and uh, pictures is something that i'm doing it because i have a passion for it it's not that you know ki mujhe likes ki padi hai ya fir you know ye hai wo hai it's just something that i love doing अदरवाइज अगर मुझे जेनुअनली लाइक्स की पड़ी होती देन आई वुड यू नो फोकस बी फोकस्ड ऑन यू नो मेकिंग सम फनी वीडियोस और समथिंग व्हिच इज या सो यू डोंट गिव इन टू द प्रेशर ऑफ या आई डोंट लेट इट यू नो कंट्रोल मी आई डोंट लेट सोशल मीडिया कंट्रोल मी आई कंट्रोल माय सोशल मीडिया दैट्स अ लवली थिंग टू से रियली या आई डोंट लेट सोशल मीडिया कंट्रोल मी आई कंट्रोल माय सोशल मीडिया एंड दैट इज समथिंग दैट मेनी पीपल डोंट अंडरस्टैंड यू नो फॉर मेनी पीपल इट्स द सोशल मीडिया दैट इज कंट्रोलिंग देम समवेयर सो आई जस्ट वांट एवरीवन दैट लुक फॉर योर ओन पर्सनालिटी लुक फॉर समथिंग दैट यू वुड यू वुड वांट टू बी एंड नॉट व्हाट द वर्ल्ड वांट्स टू सी I agree there are a lot of people who want to see funny videos or something but that does not mean ki aapko bhi wahi karna pade right. you know 
अगर मुझे लिखना पसंद है तो फिर मैं पक्का जिस दिन मैं अच्छी राइटर बन गई ना आई प्रोमिस मैं सब कुछ लिखूंगी सोशल मीडिया पे आई विल हैव माय ओन डे लाइक यू नो हाउ ट्विंकल खन्ना हैज हर संडे कॉलम्स आई स्वेयर आई विल आल्सो हैव दैट बट यू नो दैट इज समथिंग दैट विल मेक मी हैप्पी आई एम नॉट डूइंग इट फॉर द वर्ल्ड द कम ऑन लेट्स लेट्स जस्ट बी ऑनेस्ट द वर्ल्ड वांट्स टू सी द क्रिएटिव एंड द फनी साइड ऑफ मी एंड द वर्ल्ड रियली वांट्स मी टू post videos and you know do that do this and do that what you know gen- uh, eventually everyone is doing but i don't want to do that i will do what i want to right so it's just my topic. request to every kid out there that please don't let social media control you you have to control your social media and uh, you know just don't lose yourself while becoming a personality for the world because it no. it is just the fact that everybody is not going to like you how much ever you try ab kitna bhi acha banne ki koshish kar lo log honge jo aapko pasand nahi karenge like abhi bhi whatever i'm saying i'm sure there are many people who are appreciating this right now but then there will also be many people who think that ke ye bas badi badi baatein kar rahi hai bakwas kar rahi hai but i'm not going to please everybody that's the fact right No, no. You have a huge fan following, and they are the ones who are always going to stand through you, come yeah. what may. With the kind of love that's coming for you, that is quite evident. And uh, you know uh, what you just said about you know not giving into the pressures of social media or trying doing things to please rather yeah. than to please yourself. You know, I yeah. think this is something that holds true for every youngster, especially out there, and even the older generation. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So. for the lovely message and uh, reem wish you all the very best for your shows for your films for your books for the columns that you want to write <laughs> for your music <laughs> for finding Thank love you. finding happiness always and uh, it's been you. such a pleasure talking to you so Same here. thank you so much for joining us thank and you, uh, you so take much care and yes thank you i'll hopefully see you soon and we'll talk again yes very soon we will be getting in touch with you soon for uh, a lot of other things as well for film sure. family viewers so yes that's all for us today bye bye thank you take care you too so guys that was uh, reem and hope you enjoyed it but guys uh, there's another insta live coming up with our uh, editor manju ramanan where she will be uh, uh, chatting up with nidhi agarwal that is 7:15 uh, india time and 5:45 ue dubai time so guys uh, come back really soon all right and thank you for joining us with dream today and stay safe guys take care bye bye